on yeah we do hey guys just going to check in see how everybody's doing um i finally got one of these little stand things i don't know i can't see the screen because the sun is so but i'm guessing it'll work decent enough so how's everything going guys another day navigating through the beast system right um, see I'm heading to the old property I was living at I gotta clean that up kinda digging my new place guys I gotta show you uh, so it's a uh, it's a uh, campground on a lake and uh, you know I just work as a camp host and groundskeeper another, another guy I work with young guy uh He's in his 30s. Good, good kid. I really like working with him, man. We've just been destroying it. We've, we've got so much work done. It's amazing. Um, I really like it, man. It's, it's probably the first time I've been happy in a long, long, long time. Um, and I'm grateful for that, man. I am. You know, all this stuff we're, we're looking at, it's, it was just grinding at me, guys. It was just destroying my spirit, you know. And it's, uh, I'm not saying that I'm not gonna, you know. It was too much, it's just too much. Um, too much, and you gotta wake people up. You gotta, gotta help people see, and, and uh, man. I can't do it. I can't. I've tried. I've tried. And then I, even if I do, guys, then what? You know? So say I get my neighbor to see that they're spraying the skies, right? Then what? I still can't do anything about it, guys. It's all in the Lord's hands. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I'm sitting on the sidelines. But, you know... There's so many channels, and I don't think they're deceivers. I don't think they're deceivers. They're just, they're playing into it to a certain extent. It's, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Um, you know, bare shells in the supermarket and all that. And, and yeah, I mean, right. It says in the Bible that, uh, what is it? The third seal, there's going to be famine. There's going to be famine, and uh, there must be a currency because it sure alludes to hyperinflation if it's a day's wages for a loaf of bread, right? Um, so, yeah, it's definitely wise to. Sorry, I'm smoking, guys. So, it's definitely wise to be prepared to a certain extent. I mean, you know. My friend Chuck, he used to say, beans, bullets, and band-aids. This was years ago. He was a good Christian man, you know. If there's such a thing, yeah, if there's such a thing, it was him. He was a good man. Um, I haven't talked to him in years. Looks like we got some road work ahead. Yeah, I'm cleaning, uh, going back to the old property, clear that up, and uh, I'll do a video on the work we've been doing. Really coming along. Yeah, again, this is the first time in boy, 20 years since I've really been happy. Uh, and definitely in the last five years since uh, the Lord's been peeling the scales from my eyes. So, but yeah, we, so we put some stuff aside and just uh, learn what you can. Um, you know, I still am, am working on my relationship with Him her said, you know, I know that I know that I know, you know, I'm not there. It's like, I know that I know, but I still don't know that I know that I know, you know? <laughs> that probably didn't make any sense. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's, uh, when this first, uh, 2020, you know, when this first was cracking off and Oh boy, there's a few, few channels. Man, get it together quick, because it's coming down. You got, you know, a month, two months, and I, 
yeah, I could see that. I'm not blaming anybody, but I could see that, you know. I'm thinking, yeah, hey, yes, I'm... Man, I am putting aside everything I could. I wasn't buying the expensive, uh, uh, you know, like Prepper Pantry or nothing, because I figured, you know, you got to feed as many people as you can. And I didn't figure we're going to need no... And I still don't think we're going to need no 20, 30-year shelf life food. But, so I was getting canned goods and beans and stuff like that. Well, you know, all the canned goods are expired now, you know. I mean, they're still edible. They'll still be good, but yeah. Um, now and then there's those channels. My sources say this Friday. This Friday is whatever it is. You know, as this is coming, and uh, nothing ever happens. You know, nothing happens. Now, is it gonna happen? Absolutely. We, we know it will. We don't know exactly what or when, but. You know, it's, uh, God is, nothing is going to happen without his seal of approval, right? Nothing. So, I know I'm feeling overwhelmed, or I was, and, uh, I was feeling very overwhelmed is so dark, which I get depression anyways, but you topple it with that and the stuff I look into, you know, like the, the satanic ritual abuse, uh, you know, just the sick stuff they do, the snuff films, uh, it's just, this world is sick and bizarre, and it's more bizarre than I think, you know, any of us even know, but, uh, but there is good, and, uh, just trying to look at the good, you know, without burying my head in the sand, but um, I, I believe AI is running this show. I believe uh, we could call it a show. And uh, I, I just feel AI is the beast in Revelation. Who can make war with it? Who can make war with him, it says, but. Um, no, I don't know this. You know, where the uh, the ten uh, rulers give give the authority over to become one mind, and I believe singularity will be part of with tied into the mark. I don't. I just granted I could be wrong, but I do not see the juice. You know. Uh, juice is being the mark and I know many many of you guys do and uh, yeah again I could be wrong I just don't see it um, you know there's a lot of people who they don't YouTube they don't Google you know they go to church they, they love the Lord they love on their fellows or just uh, you could tell they do have the Holy Spirit you could tell Hell, but they don't Google or YouTube, you know. They don't know none of the stuff that we look into. They just don't know it. They still trust. They still trust. I like how Unplug and Brother Theo says, you know, and it's, it's in the Bible. The pure, all things are pure. They don't. They don't have all the conflict in their head like we do. And God love them, you know. I mean. Not everybody's called to be a be a fighter or watchman or whatever it is. Um, but yet they took the juice, you know, the, they're either their pastors or, you know, they, they watch the news and their friends and all that. But no, they, they know the Lord. I, I don't know the Lord, you know, and yet I'm... So it's... There's an angel that's supposed to to us, you know, yell real loud, man, don't do this, this is the mark, they, well, these people didn't hear it, so they're, they're not really followers, you, they're just faking you, you know, I, I don't buy that, I don't buy that, uh, uh, I think Wally Works is a faker, I think that guy, again, yeah, that's the only one I'll bust on, he, he gets my goat, because, I just don't trust that guy. People are just so obsessed with the man of God, you know. 
So anyways, uh, yeah guys, I, I don't know, I mean, I can, not like I'm giving advice or anything or just, but uh, it's good to back off, it's good to enjoy what we do have and be grateful for what we do have and, and do what we can do. I'd like to, uh, you know, start helping some homeless, you know, maybe once a week get bags of tobacco and things that they can't get from the food bank. And, uh, you know, help them out a bit, or, or recovery homes, or single mothers, you know, things like that, things that I can do. Um, I've beaten my head against that wall so hard since I've been discovering this stuff, and I've had zero success with anything, you know, zero success. But boy, prior to this, in my, my early 20s, all the way to probably my early 40s, I was a John Birch Society member, which is a constitutional, you know, pro-constitution patriotic organization. They, they do some good stuff, you know, get petitions. I was very active, man, at petition booths. And, um, and, and even then, you know, it was just no success. Back then, see, this was before the media wanted you left, right, and all that. You know, and I, I was even living in Idaho, a very conservative uh, area, and, uh, you know, for Second Amendment and, uh, you know, abortion and things like that, people weren't interested in, in uh, standing up for anything then, you know, and then all of a sudden, uh, you know, the orange-haired Trump dude comes along, everybody's really active, or not even active. They, they kind of make you feel like you're doing something because you voted. Um, yeah, I used to write my Congress critter at least at least once a month. Um, letters the editor. All, I'm not saying this to like. I'm just saying I, I just I've been trying so hard to, and it does not. But yet I could probably help somebody who is down and out. Have much, but I do have extra. Oh, I'm gonna buy a little fishing boat, um, little little aluminum outboard. You know, do some fishing. We'll video that. Um, who knows how much time we have, guys? And uh, I'm not saying it's just, just have fun. I'm not saying that, but you know, God has got this. And if he directs us, I mean, if he directs you to do something, obviously, yeah, you're going to do it. Um, yeah, I'm not really getting any direction except for, you know, work work on my relationship with him. Work on where I'm falling short. And, uh, you know, put the rest pretty much on ice to a certain extent. Um, and so I think that's what I'm going to do. Unplug him. He did a real. He does good work. I like his style because it's not the dramatic. The very intelligent, you know. Because he was one of these occultists in his earlier years before he came to know Christ, and uh, so he knows the insides of all this stuff. You know, a lot of it. But he did a real good, uh, real good video a couple of days ago. I think. The, the dramatic, oh my lord, it's, yeah, some of these people, man, their videos, alert, alert, you know, what, China, the, the bear, and uh, the sleeping giant, and, and I don't think they're bad people, I'm not saying like, they're bad people, but it's, unless that's what you enjoy doing is watching, now, see, I don't watch TV, so, you know, I do watch a lot of videos, but I've been kind of trying to do research videos. I, of course, testimonies. I still watch a lot of testimonies, trying to look for that magic ingredient, you know. Um, and I've been watching, uh, believe it or not, I watch a lot of uh, if they're out of prison kind of shows. There's quite a few channels out there. 
guys who've done long sentences in prison and pretty pretty good guys i mean it's a whole different world in there they have some crazy stories and uh yeah i've been watching a lot of those there's a few different ones i really like you know i'll watch that and uh, i think i've never been uh done a couple weeks in county and then uh, another week or two and you know not that i probably i mean yeah, wrong by our laws i mean i break a lot of them um not so much now except for you know and very, we very well might find ourselves in prison, uh, you know, because it just depends on which way things swing. Um, but yeah, I've been watching those, and uh, yeah, just trying to live life, guys. Yeah, it's, it's been so long since I've truly been happy. But yeah, so I will, uh, boy, there's traffic here, road work. Um, I'll make a video with uh, the pond that we're cleaning up. I've been catching minnows. I made some minnow traps and I bought one and catching, you know, small bluegills and crawdads, filling up that pond with those. And then I uh, caught a nice little bass, about 12 inches, put him in there. And I'm just going to keep doing that catching fish and throwing them in there, catfish, bluegill bass, stock that thing up, um, and, and fish, you know, for fishing, which I'll tape some shows on that, um, again, we don't know how long we have, uh, we know the Lord's in control, and, uh, and I think uh, for me, I, I'm going to try to help where I can help, what I can do. And, uh, yeah. I mean, there's, there's many, uh, there's so much information. We're getting the information overload, and then we're getting, uh, they're, they're running the narratives, man. If you watch, uh, Anything on weaponized neuroscience, Dr. Dr. James Gerardano. I, I did one with him, and it didn't turn out well. We'll probably do another one. Uh, technology, my lord, guys, it's so off the hook. And uh, they they control all the narratives, all of them, even the ones we think were. You no, know, they control them, some way, shape, or form. They control them. I think they're just wearing us down, that's what they're doing. Wearing us down, and I think AI running the show, it's like, it's, I think it's so, uh, so more advanced, uh, if they even have control of it anymore. I mean, it's, it could, uh, well, this is my belief, but I have watched some uh, shows where they are, uh, you know, like TED Talks, where it speaks of it, even how they use it in marketing, right? With swarm, swarm learning intelligence, it can uh, actually look at your retinas and see if you're, uh, you know, if, say if you're aroused or if you're interested. Um, it takes all that in consideration if you're swiping, if you're commenting. Hear it again. It could do all that in real time on billions of us, man. Billions of us. So it could make a decision, you know, say 10 minutes from now, do this. You know, we're in way over our heads here. Um, aside from Jesus Christ coming back and Wiping this slate clean and starting us anew. There's nothing we can do, really. Um, now, again, I'm not saying I'm going to just sit it out. But, uh... It's kind of like, take care of your own. Take care of your own, what you can do. And, uh... Try to be helpful to your fellows. And, uh... This, this whole waking people up, getting them... 
you know, get with like-minded people. I was beating my head against the wall on that one. I can't find like-minded people. You know, I just can't. I've, I've put ads on Craigslist, on Nextdoor, and uh, nothing. Nothing. You know, you may find believers, but, you know, and maybe they're smart. They're not panicking and, oh, we got to get all this stuff, you know. It's like, yeah, we're, we're heading towards a centralized digital currency. It sure looks that way, and then what? You know, is that gonna, is that gonna be the mark there? Is, we know it's tied into buying and selling. Right? We know that from the word. We're pretty close, but who knows? But then once that comes into play, is that, is, what do you guys plan on doing? You know, for me, it's not anything that's going in my body, absolutely not. And uh, anything that uh, requires me to denounce Him, our Lord, absolutely not. You know? And I don't, I don't believe I'm going to heaven. I don't believe I'm, I mean, Jesus said, man, it's, it's a narrow gate, man. Wide is the way to destruction. Very few find the narrow path. Like, I'm one of those few. I highly doubt it, guys. Highly doubt it. But, uh, but, you know, I'm still not going to denounce him. I'm still not going to do that. No way, no how. Okay, I'm heading to storage unit because I have to get some rope to tie down some of my stuff. And, uh, I just thought I'd check in with you guys see what you guys think see how you guys are holding up these here end days and let me get my little code here guys one second um You guys could have probably seen my little code there. Um, yeah, man, just uh, just see how everybody's doing. Yeah, I pray you're all well, man. I pray you're all well, and I'll try to do some kind of fun stuff, man. We'll do some fishing. I'll take you guys fishing. Got a lot of interest in gold prospecting for the time being. Could do that too and i'll show you the job and all right guys love y'all man pray all's well